Magandang buhay mga bata. Tara, samahanin niyo ako matutok kasama si Teacher Aika, your online teacher. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and hit the notification bell for more videos. Thank you! Revised K-12 Curriculum Math Grade 3 Quarter 1 Lesson 1 Day 2 Our topic for today is about Estimate the area of rectangular surfaces using square tiles. This is Teacher Aika, your online teacher. Let's start! Learning competencies Illustrate and estimate the area of a square or rectangle using square tile units. Explore inductively the derivation of the formulas of the areas of a square and a rectangle using square tile units. Find the areas of squares and rectangles in square centimeters and square meters and solve problems involving area of squares and rectangles. Learning Objectives Estimate the area of rectangular surfaces using square tiles and find the area of rectangular surfaces using square tiles as the non-standard units. Day 2 Let us look back on our activity yesterday. How did you find the area of the rectangles? Answer, the rectangles were covered with square tiles. We counted the square tiles that covered the surface of the rectangle. Our lesson for today is to estimate and find the area of rectangular surfaces in square tiles. Here's a list of words related to rectangles and area concepts. Rectangular Rectangle Sides Corners Square Square tiles Units Greatest Largest Smallest Least Skip counting Row Column Size Surface Area Square Units For this lesson, they will cover several rectangularly shaped surfaces using different sizes of square tiles or cutouts. Group Activity 
but before you cover the surface, you will have to guess first the number of square tiles or cutouts needed. You will write your answers in the table. Who among you got correct guesses? Can you share with your classmates your strategy for guessing the area of the given objects? Some objects may not be covered exactly just like the illustration here. Learners should be able to estimate the area by putting together the extra parts of the incomplete square tiles to form one square. The complete squares are 15. The incomplete squares or the extra parts put together are about 3 squares. The area of the cover of the notebook is about 18 square tiles. 18 square tiles is the estimated area of the cover of the notebook. How many sizes of square tiles did you use to find the area of each object? Answer, we used two different sizes of squares. Did using the two sizes of squares give you the same number? Why? Answer, no, because with the smaller square, we got a greater number. Did the area of the object, such as the notebook, change when a smaller or larger square tile was used? Answer, no, the area is the same. It is the number obtained that is different because of the size of the squares. What do you observe about the size of the square tile or cutout used and the number obtained? Answer, a greater number is obtained when a smaller square tile or cutout is used. A lesser number is obtained when a bigger square tile or cutout is used. Show a smaller square tile or cut out like the one shown below. Would you get a greater or lesser number if a smaller square tile or cut out is used as a unit? Answer, we will get a greater number. Show a bigger square tile or cut out like the one shown below. Would you get a greater or lesser number if the larger square tile or cut out is used as a unit? Answer, we will get a lesser number. When do you obtain a greater number and when do you obtain a lesser number? Answer, a greater number is obtained when the square tile or cutout used is small while a lesser number is obtained when the square tile or cutout used is big. Making generalizations Number 1. How did you estimate the area of the surfaces? Answer, we put together the extra ones that form one square tile. Number 2. Is it possible to use different sizes of squares to measure the area of a surface? Answer, Yes, it is possible. Number three, 
Will the area change if different units are used? Answer, no, only the number of units used. For our evaluation, find the area of each rectangle. Expected answer, number 1, area is equal to 21 square tiles. Number 2, area is equal to 30 square tiles. Number 3, area is equal to 16 square tiles. Number 4, area is equal to 15 square tiles. Maraming salamat sa panonood. Huwag kalimutang i-like at mag-subscribe para sa higit pang educational content. I-click ang bell icon para ma-update ka sa ating mga bagong video. Salamat!